Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to uh, move away from addition and subtraction of integers, which is what we've done in the last couple of sections. And in this section, we're going to conquer multiplication of integers, which I think all of you can agree is, is very, very important. And so you need to really understand how to do this really well and effortlessly. And the good news is that multiplication and division that we'll get to in the next section is actually much easier than learning how to add and subtract uh, integers. In fact, I could have put multiplication and division first, ultimately decided not to. So, you know, in multiplication, uh, you, you know how to multiply your numbers. The only thing that we're going to be doing in this section is trying to figure out what sign, negative or positive, to put in your answer. And so that's going to depend on the numbers that you're multiplying together. There's a few simple little rules to remember. And uh, I promise you that if, uh, if you don't already know them, then you'll definitely know them once we're done working on problems because it'll be, uh, it'll be something that you'll just remember because we've worked so many problems and you'll have to use the rules over and over again. So remember back to addition and subtraction of integers briefly. Basically, you, uh, you, you add them or subtract them, and you have to look at the absolute value of the numbers that you have in order to figure out what the sign of the answer is. And you have to do a little bit of thinking because you have to look at, in your head, at least in the beginning, you have to think of where on the number line you are. Are you adding? Are you subtracting? And so you, are you going left or right? Is your number going to get bigger or smaller? You have to do some thinking, and it all depends on the relative sizes of those two numbers. So you really have to think about the number line and figure out where your numbers are in order to add and subtract them. In multiplication and division of integers, you really don't have to worry about the absolute value at all, which makes it easier. You just have to think about the signs of the numbers. And there's a few simple rules, uh, and, and so it'll be very, very simple. So let's go ahead and outline these rules uh, of uh, integer multiplication. But before we do that, there are a few different... ways to write multiplication. You know, I remember back when I first took pre-algebra and algebra, and I remember that coming from a world of just learning how to, you know, basic math, adding, subtracting, dividing, things like that, and opening up a pre-algebra book, I was very intimidated, very you know, worried, I guess I should say, about all the parentheses in the book, you know, in the pre-algebra book. Um, the multiplication looked different. Everything looked a little bit different. And so what I'm going to do here is just show you a few different ways that you're probably going to see things multiplied together in your book. But just remember, don't be worried about it. It's all multiplication. It's stuff that you've been doing for many, many years. It's just written a little bit different because when we get into bigger and bigger you know, calculations, it's going to help us to write it in this, in this way. So there's a couple different ways that you've probably seen in your book uh, to write multiplication. The first way is the way that you've been doing all, you know, all your life. So you know, 2 times 4 will equal 8. 2 times 4 is 8. This little x here means multiplication, right? Well, it turns out that you're not going to use this this way very much. I'm just putting it on the board just, you know, just so for completeness here. So I'm going to say not used much. The reason why we don't use this very much when we start to work in algebra in pre-algebra is because of this x here. Because later on we're going to start using letters to represent numbers. And so here when I write this, I don't know if this is 2 times 4 is 8 or if this is 2x4, you know, x being a variable. So you'll understand a little bit later when we get into equations and variables why this, is, this would get confusing. But we really never use letters unless we're 